I think everybody's creative in some sense, you know? Some people are more creative than others, but for me, it means everything. You know, a lot of times people say you're an artist, and that's not, I don't really think I'm an artist. I think I'm a painter, like I, my creativity has fell, fallen into that realm. I do a lot of different things. I can sculpt, I can do, you know, lots of different creative things, you know? It's just, my main focus has been on painting. That's why I consider myself a painter, not an artist, you know? And that's for everybody out there to determine whether or not I have earned that title or not. I really like challenging myself. So I think, like, when I say it drives me, a lot of the time I'll allow the challenge to happen, you know? And so I push myself further into what if I do this or what if I do that, just to see if I can come up with something that I haven't seen before. I think for me, there's nothing more satisfying than to be alone in the studio experimenting with a material or something that I've never handled before and, and learning how it moves and how it looks and you know what kind of light comes off of it and this that and the other thing so I have a very personal relationship with mediums I like to experiment with mediums I was looking for something social that I could present in a visual way once I had that I painted one silhouette with its shadow, painted it in, and that's when I knew I had something that I hadn't seen. So that was the birth of the, the populace, that, that whole idea. Um, from that single one, we went on to do paintings that contained 80, then 100, then 300, and we began to broaden the idea. I try to generate the challenge. You know, I try to say, okay, how, how much further can I push this? What, what idea does this relate to to what's going on today? Let me look through the newspaper and see what's going on. I mean, I've done paintings about, you know, what's going on in Egypt, what's going on, you know, all these different things that are going on where it is involving a lot of people, like the populace, you know? And you, and you start to see things on television that look like that except they're like throwing their leader out, you know? I mean, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Sometimes it just happens. I think for me, it's to pick out things that the, the mass populace that's out there can relate to. If there's anything that I want a viewer to take away from my paintings is that you're not as big as you think you are because the universe is a really big place and we need to work together to accomplish larger goals. We can't think that the individual is more important than the whole. What I expected to happen was, especially when I do uh, portraits with the people, is I knew I was going to capture someone from a distance. To see it, they recognize who it is, but there's something not right about it because it's, I've never seen it done or it looked like that before. So as they get closer and they start to realize exactly what it's made of, I've got them. Uh, you know, I've got them right where I need them, in front of the painting, engaged, being, have a social connection with the painting. Now they've realized it's people, now they're trying to find themselves in it, you know, things that they've done that they see going on in the paintings, which in a, some aspect, that's the connection I want to make, is that we're all part of this thing called life you know we're all part of it we all belong you know we all have our part and our, our, our role and I think mine is to paint as many paintings as I can before I'm, I'm gone <laughs>